Oh, the Steve White Trek Boy 89 for Steve Arts 89. Well, we have a little bit more Star Trek news, um, or rumours. I don't know, it is news, but um, its ramifications are sort of in the realm of rumour. Um, Terry Metalis has been hired by Disney to do the Vision series. Um, so obviously if he's doing that, in theory he won't be able to do Star Trek Legacy. But Star Trek Legacy is apparently not going to be made until... Um, I don't know, they've done the first season of Starfleet Academy, or if they have to wait for Starfleet Academy to finish, because apparently they can only do one Star Trek series at a time or something, or that's the plan going forward. But, um, yeah, so, um, I don't quite know what to think about that. Um, I mean, we sort of knew he was working, he was busy, so it could happen, but I mean, you'd think they'd manage to plan around these things, I don't know. But um, apparently they're grooming Jonathan Frakes to, to take over and be showrunner, so who knows. But um, that was something I heard. Uh, now the other thing was um, the new um, reboot movie, the prequel movie, they were talking about going a couple of decades b before. Um, we weren't sure one year, but I think we've all sort of decided or, or it's been hinted that they're going to do... 10, 20 years before um, the J.J. Abrams Star Trek film, because that that it takes out takes place out of continuity with the actual TV series. But um, apparently, it's about first contact and the launch of the Enterprise, meaning the first Enterprise. But we've already done that for NX. But I guess the fact is an NX NX class is why it doesn't get counted. And um, yeah, I just. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's it's like they can't they they just can't make a Star Trek movie, which is, you know, an optimistic utopian future and people exploring new worlds and having you know battles and that with people. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's going to be like a post-apocalyptic, post World War Three thing, I guess in theory. But I got a lot of space passed, a lot of time passed between. Um, the instance of, incidents of first contact and the actual, um, yeah, I just, I don't know, I don't know. Um, the idea of it being just, just this kind of, sort of, kind of like a war movie, but I mean, like I said, there's a lot of space between first contact and um, the Enterprise actually launching and, and going into space because the Vulcans, oh, it's not that long, it's only like five years, isn't it? I don't know. It's interesting. Um, it's bad. I mean, I was hoping we'd just see the launch of this Enterprise, the, the Enterprise we see in the original series, and um, maybe some sort of story on board you know, before that. Now, that would make sense to have Pike there, um, but apparently that turned into a big family thing with lots of knives, and they can't do that now, so I don't know. It's a bit of a mess, um, and I'm really, really tired. My, my eyes are closing. But um, yeah, I heard this, and I'm like, oh, oh. We've already seen First Contact in First Contact, and we've seen the Enterprise sort of launching the Federation and being like the beginning of the Federation. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to get from this one. I'm going to go for free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you, let me know what you think before I fall asleep. Bye.